I heard that bread is actually worse for your teeth than candy. But how? Yes, that's absolutely true! Fermentable carbs like bread are worse for your teeth than candy. What? But why is that a thing? We all know candy is what gives you cavities. Let's talk. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about fermentable carbohydrates. So here's the thing, sugar exists in many different forms. There's not just candy sugar like most of us immediately think of when we think of sugar. So regular carbohydrates, after you eat them, they eventually break down into sugars. However, fermentable carbohydrates specifically break down into sugars while they are still being chewed in your mouth. So that's why the worst foods for your teeth are actually these sneaky sugars from fermentable carbs. Most bread, like we said in the intro, and crackers, chips, goldfish, pasta, they're all examples of fermentable carbs. Think about how eating bread or goldfish crackers, they tend to get sticky and stuck in your teeth. And then you're trying to wipe them off with your tongue after, and you can't get it out. And when food gets stuck in teeth, that makes matters even worse because it's harder to clean out. So the worst combination of food for teeth is one, sugar, which we now know fermentable carbs have sugar in them, and two, sticky foods that are hard to clean out and they can't get them out. And sugar and sticky equals sneaky fermentable carbs. You don't want these sneaky sugars to get stuck on in between your teeth for a prolonged period of time because the bacteria in your mouth will then cause acids to be produced, which significantly increases your risk for cavities and tooth decay. The sugar bugs. So that's why bread and fermentable carbs are in fact worse than most candies, such as dark chocolate. Dark chocolate candies are actually a great example of a candy that is better for your teeth than most other candies and fermentable carbs because dark chocolate tends to have way less sugar. And you know I have a video all about the best and worst candies for your teeth, which I will link in the description bar if you'd like to hear about the lineup of candies from the best to the worst. But for the purpose of this video, just remember that although lots of us worry about candy causing cavities, don't forget that fermentable carbs are even worse for your teeth than most candies. Does this mean you should never eat a fermentable carb ever again? No. Everything in moderation is key and my best advice is after you indulge in fermentable carbs, make sure you're drinking water during and after and really swishing it around your mouth and teeth. Drinking water will limit the contact time the carbs have with your teeth and lower the amount of any broken down sugar particles left in your mouth. It's really important to wash away any residual food from sitting on your teeth for too long. Also, doing that tongue motion where you try to wipe away the foods, that helps too. Because technically you're supposed to wait at least 30 minutes after eating before brushing your teeth. So until you're able to brush, switching with water and even flossing, even with the little floss picks can really help. Another great thing to do is chew on sugar-free gum, xylitol gum, so good. It's always important to remember to brush your teeth at least twice each day for two minutes each time. Once in the morning before breakfast and once in the evening before you go to bed. Also be sure to clean between your teeth at least once daily with floss, interdental brushes, and or water flossers, I will link my flossing alternatives video in the description as well if you'd like to learn more about all the different options of flossing. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, and hang out with me on Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.